Now the next thing that you want to do is be willing to play with the uh, the the name itself. Let's say, for instance, if in this case our company has a first letter of each name, maybe you want to try this. Maybe you want to try to instead of just keeping the full name, uh, use just the initials. And what you want to do is you want to get these a little bit larger if you're going to do that. That way you can visualize them better. Um, let's use something like this. Actually, I would just go through and to see because it, it completely changes everything when you change the the basic concept of your design. So if you decide you don't want the full name, uh, you just want the, the letters, then go through, find your font, and let's just pick one. We'll, we'll just pick this one for the sake of here. And then move it around. You, you might say, hmm, LD. Uh, you can either do that. You might think the L is not prominent enough. So maybe you want to use this L down here. Let's grab it and erase the other letters. Since you've got this, just pull it around. And you, you never know uh, where you might come up with something that's completely different. Stand back and look at it. And then pull it up. You know. And you, you can do this for literally 30 minutes. And sometimes... The coolest designs are not what you prefabricate or not what you're trying to get at, but just simply taking a couple of letters and putting them around each other. If you look around at logos and papers and magazines, you'll find some of the very cool logos are just simply a spin on the letters.